This is the point where you will put everything together to create your action research plan that will include a well-defined topic of research, the purpose of your study, your foundational research question, your fully detailed research design and research methods, the measurement instruments you will use, the type of data you will collect, and your literature review. Your plan will also need to include a timeline and your plans for addressing how you will implement the plan, collect and analyze the data, develop the action plan, share and communicate your results, and reflect on the process. Your final step for this course is to add your outline, the literature review, and your research plan to your e-portfolio in a well-organized manner so that you can share all your hard work with your colleagues. We want to remind you that your action research is not finished when you complete this course. As you've learned, action research involves the following four steps, the planning, acting, developing, and the reflecting stage. In this course, you've been focused on the planning stage, and your action research plan focuses on that stage itself. Some of you may get to the point where you can implement your action research plan before the end of the program. For others, you may not be able to complete your action research until later. Regardless, now that you know how to use action research, we expect you will continue to use what you've learned in this course well beyond your program of study and continue to explore ways to measure the impact of enhancing your learning environment.